cash flow crew what's going on all right guys it's saturday the weekend but still a work day for me so i got up and got straight to it now i've got a decent sized five figure deal locked up that's just been in limbo for the past maybe two or three months probably closer to three months and it's a deal that's already in escrow title work was pulled we know what we have to do with it but the seller on this one just went completely cold so i have no idea what happened to the seller so it got all the way down to me having to send off a piece of certified mail just to see if she's still even in the address or around but if i get to my mailbox and it looks like the certified mail hasn't been accepted then i have to go my next route which is to skip trace and we'll just kind of talk about what it means to skip trace and how you can use skip tracing to find new contact information for somebody and the second thing me and alicia will be doing is going to check out a house uh one for us to live in because of course we just sold our house um pulled out a bunch of cash so we're looking for something else to buy now but we have one in mind that both of us think that we'll like pretty well so we're going to go and check it out and see if we want to make an offer on it All right, so just check the P.O. box and nothing in there except for a P.O. box renewal fee notice. So not exactly what I was looking for. All right, guys, so the next step for me is to do a skip trace. But skip tracing is literally just finding the information, the contact information for somebody. So, so for instance, if you have a vacant property and you don't know the contact information for the owner, you would do a skip trace and you would be able to find such information as the current mailing address if it's different from what might be on one of your state's assessor's website or whatever, um, current phone numbers, email addresses if it's available. And skip tracing right now is my main source of marketing for properties that are in distress, vacant properties. You skip trace and I have my assistants to go ahead and, and call those uh, potential sellers so we can get the deal. So just a couple of tips if you do decide to go this route for your real estate business. Two of the most accurate companies when it comes to skip tracing are TLO and LexisNexis. And for what I've seen so far, skip trace companies that use either one of those sources, TLO or LexisNexis, they provide the best results. So if you're looking for a skip tracer or a skip trace company, you'll want to check and see if they use LexisNexis or TLO. But of course, when you're trying to find a skip trace company, you'll also want to ask those other important questions and do your background research on the company. Asking those important questions like what their accuracy rate is as far as finding numbers. Do they provide the most up-to-date numbers? Um, do they provide the most up-to-date mailing addresses how often is their data updated anything else that you'll want to know just to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information and that you can be able to reach a potential seller now i have used a couple of um sites myself when i was doing skip tracing myself one of the ones that i used was called intellius.com but what you can also do and this is what i do now just because it frees up my time um, but I don't I don't skip trace myself now. I actually employ somebody on contract who does uh, bulk skip tracing for me. But anyway, guys, that's skip tracing in a nutshell. But make sure you do your research on the companies, whatever skip tracing company um, that you're looking at, because not all skip trace companies are created equal. Some are a lot better than others. But from what I've seen so far, skip tracing and going direct to owners is one of the best sources that I've been able to use. Man. 